This ice dance duo took the internet by storm. Their videos went crazy on social media, racking up millions of views. Fans couldn't help but call them the most gorgeous figure skating couple and assumed they were more than just skating partners because of their strong chemistry. Turns out, they were spot on. The couple actually had a romance. But let's take it step by step. So, the story begins in 2018. Picture this, 15-year-old Valerie is just walking by the TV, and suddenly, he's struck by this young figure skater on the screen, skating in an ice show. He turns to his mom and says, But his mom's like, yeah, right, dream on. Turns out, the girl already had a partner, and they even ended up winning the whole show together. You guessed it, that girl was Vasilisa Kaganovskaya. Fast forward six months. Valery Angelopol shows up for his regular training, where he's supposed to do a test skate with a girl who just arrived from St. Petersburg. Out of sheer curiosity, he casually asks the girl, what's your last name? She hits him with Kaganovskaya. Valery is totally shook. Who would have thought his wish would actually come true? So, for a good two weeks, he practically begged the coach to team them up. But Krilova was dead set against it. First, she thought Valerie had a huge ego and was afraid he might spoil the girl. Second, she was worried about the 30 centimeter height difference between them. Krilova believed the girl had already hit her growth peak, while Valerie might just keep growing. But Valerie somehow managed to talk Krilova into giving this partnership a shot. Lucky for them, the coach's worries turned out to be unfounded. The skaters quickly found their groove and their personalities just clicked. Plus, Kaganovskaya had a growth spurt, making them look like a perfect match. But their first season was a mess. They made it to just one competition, where they ended up in seventh place. And then, during one of their training sessions, Vasilisa broke her leg. As time went on, these two skaters really figured out how to work together. Their first breakthrough came in October 2019, when they came in second place at the Mezzaluna Cup. During the first half of the 21-22 season, Vasilisa and Valeri were consistently on top, never dropping below the second position in any of their competitions. As time passed, Vasilisa found herself getting more and more into Valeri. Eventually, Vasilisa fell in love with him. Then one day, Vasilisa confessed his feelings. Valeri was totally thrown off because he had a girlfriend at the time. However, after some thought, he decided to give it a try. They started dating, hanging out a ton off the ice and sharing all their deepest thoughts and feelings. So this went on for three months. Valeri needed a ton of attention, but Vasilisa just couldn't give him what he needed. She wasn't too keen on some of Valeri's actions either. Vasilisa's feelings gradually faded, leading her to insist on breaking up. However, Valeri continued to love her and it tormented him. He trained with Vasilisa almost every single day spending more time with her than with his own family, playing this lover's role on the ice. Let me clarify, he didn't have to fake being in love with Vasilisa, he truly was. He sank into such a deep pit of despair from this unreciprocated love that he lost sight of the purpose of life. I couldn't Vasilisa because I was very into her, but at the same time we continued to skate, and we started to play, and I had a very depression. According to him, it was only his parents who managed to lift him out of that dark place. During the 22-23 season, Angelopol and Kaganovskaya stepped up to the senior level. It was around this time that videos with them went viral on social media. Fans were absolutely blown away by their skills, the grace of their skating, and of course, the incredible chemistry they had on the ice. You put me on and said I was your favorite. Trust level is at 200%. You're entrusting not only your little secrets, but your entire life," Vasilisa confessed. Valerie, on the other hand, admitted that he would never drop Vasilisa because he simply wouldn't allow himself to. The big breakthrough happened when they triumphed at the Grand Prix of Russia final. That was their moment to shine. 
showing everyone that they were the top dance duo in Russia. At the height of their fame and physical prowess, news of the duo's breakup just before the 23-24 season came as a complete shock. Naturally, everyone wanted to know the reasons behind it, but Angela Paul declined to comment. Vasilisa, though, decided to get more specific about the situation. She said the disagreements actually started back in the early summer when her partner expressed the desire to end their partnership. The reason was personal, and she didn't want to talk about it. At that time, she and the coach managed to convince Valeri to keep going. But then he wanted her to sign a contract, putting all the financial burden on Kaganovskaya, making her cover all the duo's expenses. She refused to sign it. As a result, the duo came to an end. Valerie's mom and Valerie himself claimed that it was Krilova, not him, who suggested the contract. However, the coach denies this information. Later, it turned out that Vasilisa's new partner was Maxim Nekrasov. But Valeri's future is still up in the air. There are whispers that Valeri isn't allowed on any rink and can't even pick a new partner. Rumor has it that the Federation's management is stopping coaches from taking him into their groups. When asked by reporters if there was any truth to these claims, he said, it's partially true. Meanwhile, the Federation's leader, Alexander Kogan, denied the rumors, stating that Angela Paul hadn't reached out to him at all. Even after they split, Angela Paul is still being sweet to Vasilisa. He's liking her Instagram posts and even wrote a heartfelt post recently, wishing her a happy 18th birthday. Yes, it's a sad heart-wrenching story, but it's also a tale of pure, beautiful love between two hearts that were too young when all of that happened. Thanks for the memories, I guess.